Okay guys, welcome to the watermelon channel. We got tons of watermelon for you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got eleven of these uh, 50 pound watermelons. They're pretty big. We're gonna see how many watermelons it takes to stop these uh, bows, uh, these arrows. I'm gonna compare the crossbow to compound to the traditional recurve bow. And uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. I'm gonna use uh, mainly probably practice tip for the recurve one and then we'll move to the crossbow and compounds using uh, practice and uh, broadheads, okay? This is a PSE traditional bow. Shoots around uh, 100 feet per second. Jaspari, are you ready? Ah, uh, wait, 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 let me record for this. That corner the corner, the sun. The sun is, okay, okay this corner is, is better. No, it doesn't matter. Go on the side. Ah, uh, here. You sure? Yes. Okay. I'm sure. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Uh, let me go down, maybe. Oh, that's it? Ah, cabron. Three? Uh, yeah. I see, uh, from here, you see the third one. So, went in... Three giant watermelons. You can see it better. I don't know if you see, I can see the arrow from here, from this corner. I don't know if you want to show that. Should I just leave it in there? Yeah, leave that it. That looks for the good for decoration. Oh, yeah. Here. Okay, the way you do this, my grandpa told me you when you go to the store, you have to slap him and you have to hear for the sound, and that's how you know this one is good or not. It's ripe. And this is perfect, right? Just ready. How's the sound? That one is not really good sound. You sure? Sure. How about this one? No, this that one sounds better. Yeah, it sounds that sound better. better. It sounds more. Wait, wait, wait. Meaty. Let me show you this one. Okay, you, you see here is. Look, <laughs> this one is good. Oh, that one was different for sure. Yeah, this one is the only one good. Okay, we'll eat that one then. <laughs> <laughs> compound bow, uh, we'll do this PSE compound. And this shoots about 300 feet per second. And I'm using the practice tips for this one also. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Yeah, go down, go down. Should I go down? Little bit. You ready? I'm ready. Fire in the hole. Oh, went in more. Went inside the first one. Oh, I can see the tip here. Oh, so yeah. one, two, three, four, and the tip barely. Right there, there's the tip. So a complete four and a little bit of the fifth one. Okay, that was the uh, pa -pa -pa -pa, the practice tip. I'm gonna come back with the compound and shoot it with the uh, broadhead. I'll be right back. Hi, cabron. Let me see again. Oh, this one. I wanna eat this one, cabron. This one maybe it's uh, really juicy, sweet. This one is a good one. This one. Okay. <laughs> which one? You ready? You're picking which I'm one? I'm ready. I picked already mine. <laughs> So for this next one, I'm going to use the stainless steel broadhead. I think these are from uh, Savage Village hunting or something like that. They're about 100 grain broadheads. So we'll shoot that, see what happens. Okay, that's pretty. Fire in a hole. Same results. Same results. Obviously... Oh uh, no, only three. One, two, three, uh, complete three, and uh, the tip is right over there. It stopped on the third one. Ten point crossbow, Nitro XRT. You guys have seen me shoot this before. If you haven't, welcome to the channel. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> this is one of the world's fastest uh, crossbows. Shoots around 470 feet per second. Puts out about 192 foot pounds of energy. Quietly goes up. The risers uh, sit in the middle on this one versus the other ones that sit in the uh, front. It gives it a better stability and uh, vibration control so there's less noise coming out of it. That's what I learned on YouTube. <laughs> what did you guys think? I was actually smart. Okay. 
goes automatically in safety. We'll take it off safety. And I'm gonna use the same stainless steel uh, Savage uh, Hunter, Savage Village Hunting uh, broadhead tips, and these are 100 grain. This slides right in here like that. You gotta make sure it goes all the way back. Looks good. Okay, Jasperi. Perdón. <laughs> okay, where should I go? Should I go kind of aim a little bit from the top? Yes. Because there isn't that much room, man. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, fire in the hole. Oh, wow. Woo! Look how big of an opening that is compared to the other ones. You can see how much pressure it had, how much force it had versus this compound one that I shot. We shot the same, we shot the same uh, broadhead, but look at the difference between a crossbow and a compound one. There's about the lines on that uh, broadhead came out about uh, almost an inch and look at the line on this one came out about an inch and a half to two inches. So right from the beginning on the uh, entry wound, that's a big opening. Obviously went forward. I see it come back, coming back here. That's one, two, three, four. Look at the opening on this crossbow. Look how much damage it did compared to the other bows. Right away, that's a lot of force and energy being dumped into it with the crossbow. And that's two. Came out of the third one. And here's on the fourth. Just very, uh, bring it over here, please. So the, oh wow, look, this is complete five. There it is. Oh man. That's a lot of damage. Should I shoot it with the crossbow one more time and compare it to the practice tip? Pra no, practice, yes. You think so? Yes. Okay, let me move this one out then. Okay, this is still good. And mm. it tastes good? <laughs> it tastes so juicy. No way. Mm -hmm. You want to say something? Uh, no, not okay. right now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, let me shoot it one more time. Uh, with the with the crossbow using a uh, practice tip, see what kind of results we'll get. I'll be right back. Oh, might as well pull this one too. No, I that was red. Okay. Oh no, cabron, let me test. Ay, cabron. Ay, cabron, this is juicy too. Ay, cabron. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is sweet. This one, that one is good too. I told you, cabron. Yeah. You don't believe me. I believe you. Okay. Practice tip. This little cute one. Sits right in there. And here we go. Mm. Fire in a hole. You go from the side now. No, we're good, we're it's good. good. We're good, we're good. One, two, three, four. Oh, five, two, six. Watch. It's One, here. two, three, four, five. Yes. Oh yeah, you're right. Six. Oh, that's a that's a nice. Uh... But the, the thing, watch. Okay, if this was center, it would have gone in a little bit deeper. Yes. But it came out about uh, three inches out from the fifth one. So the winner is the crossbow nitro XRT from Ten Point using a practice tip. It could be the size of an elephant or a bear because that's how wide it is. How big are elephants? No. Uh, baby elephant, maybe. Maybe elephant. Baby. Baby elephant. Yes. How about like a bear? Like bear, a grizzly yes, bear? They, yeah, that's, that's kind of big enough, yes, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Size of a grizzly bear or a baby elephant. And uh, the arrows uh, went all the way through. And that's the video, really. I don't have anything else to add. If you are want to stick around to watch us see the watermelon, stay tuned. I'll be right back. <laughs> what? Where are you? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, what do you want me to do? How do you want me to cut your watermelon? <laughs> how, cut the cut. That's it. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> this is a, this is how you cut a watermelon. Just like this. Yes. In, in Yucatan, Yucateco. Wait, 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 wait. Let this me, is how we uh, cut it. There's no lead in there. Don't worry. Mmm. Oh wow. Mmm. Aaron, this is juicy. Hey, my, my mom told me always don't eat that seeds because the watermelon grow in your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Here, this is a good one. Doesn't uh, have any seeds. Oh my god, look at that one. Cabron. <laughs> this is good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let me see this piece. Hey, let me cut you a better piece. That's a, mm. This piece is too messed up. It's okay, it's okay. You want you want me to cut that one? That no, 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 that one is good. That one is good. No, okay. this one, this that one. That one you're gonna take it to your familia? Mm, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh wait, is that an arrow in there? No, it's not. Oh yeah. I think I hit an arrow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it's the one arrow. <laughs> over there. There's an arrow in there. <laughs> Cabro, wait. You make like a. You cut this thing like a taco. <laughs> this is a taco. <laughs> Dude, that's a perfect taco. Yeah, this is good. Oh. Cabron, we have to eat all the, <laughs> all the watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't have to eat all of them. <laughs> okay, good. Just this one. <laughs> okay, throw me a watermelon and let me cut it in half with this thing. Cabron, see wait. I want to see if I can I can cut it in half in mid air. Okay, do you want to hit me that one? No, <laughs> I wanna... no. Throw me another one. There's only damage. The second one. <laughs> hey, you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. Okay, let's go. Oh, nice. Wait, did I cut it? No. <laughs> I didn't. I think I did. No. Only half. Okay, throw me another one. <laughs> go. Just, I wanna, okay, throw it uh, like how you were gonna throw it in the beginning. Now yeah, you cut I, it. Now I cut it. I don't know about that one. No, look, I cut it. That's a nice cut over there. Let me see. Look, look at the cut. My God, look at this. Oh, ho, ho. oh that's a good one. Huh? That's the video. Thank you for uh, learning how to eat a watermelon. If you enjoyed eating watermelon, then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>